Talk Radio. Shabbat Shalom. Send me Shalom. Send me Shabbat Shalom. Oh Lord, open thou my lips. My lips. My lips. My lips. Adonai Shefatai Tiftah. 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 And my mouth shall show forth thy praise, thy praise, thy praise, thy praise, thy praise, thy praise. Ufi yagit te hilla techa, hilla techa, hilla techa, hilla techa, hilla techa, hilla techa. For thou desirest not sacrifice, not sacrifice, not sacrifice, not sacrifice, not sacrifice, not sacrifice. And here, 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 just a run through or go through of the evening service for the Sabbath, the Shabbat, and for festivals. Evening service, here, 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 Shabbat Eve, TJIF, thank Jah, Rastafari, it's Friday. So here, the evening service for the Sabbath, the Shabbat, and for the festival, seeing that the Sabbath is the first of the festival. So the reader, the reader will come forward, step forward and say in the Hebrew, Barku et Yahuwah Ham Borak. The usual translation is, Bless be Jehovah, to whom all praise, all praise is due, to whom all blessing is due. Barku, bless your Barku, Barku et Yahuwah. Hamborach. Modern Hebrew, Barhu et Adonai Hamborach. Blessed, blessed, praise, increase, abundant, be he who be who he be, to whom all praise, all baraka is due. Then the congregation, upon the readers saying that word sound, the aggregation response is Baruch Yahuwah Hamborach. Le Olam Wa'ed. Blessed be Jehovah to whom all praise, all blessings is due forever and ever. So the aggregation responding to the Barku, et Yahuwah, Hambarak, responsa, Baruch, bless Yahuwah, he who be who he be, Hambarak, the blessed one. Le Olam, forever, Wa'ed, forever. To time indefinite and onward. Here, here, here. Baruch, Ata, Yahweh Loheinu, Meleka Ha Olam. Blessed, prospered be thou, O He who be, who he be, I and I, Elohim, King of the universe, universal King. In wisdom, in Chokmah, dost thou bring on the dust of twilight and openest the gates of Shemaim, of the heavens. To usher in a new day, in understanding, in understanding, overstanding, dost thou, the eye, arrange the changes of time, of Iowa, and the succession of the seasons. Thou, the eye, hast set the stars in their courses in the sky, according to thy will. Thou, the eye, createst day and night, rolling away the light before the darkness and the darkness before the light. Thou, the eye, makest the day to fade into the night, and thou, the eye, hast set a boundary between day and night. Thou art, Yahuwah, thou art Lord, Master, Sovereign of all the heavenly hosts. O oh, ever-living, eternal El, power, Hail, as thy rule is established over the kingdom of nature, of the natures, may it also be established over us, over I and I, forever and ever. Praise, blessed be thou, the I, O Jehovah, who bringest on the evening, the evening twilight. Baruch Ata Yahuwah, Ha Ma Erib, Erabim. Blessed art thou, Jehovah, who bringest on. The evening twilight, Baruch Ata Yahuwah, Ha Ma Erib Irabi. With everlasting eternal love, hast thou loved the 
Bait Yisrael, the Beta Israel, the house of Israel. Thou hast revealed to us, to I and I, a law, a Torah, direction, instruction, and commandments, statutes, and judgments. Therefore, Yahweh Loheinu, when we lay down and when we, I and I, rise up, we, I and I, shall attend to thy statutes. Yea, we, I and I, shall rejoice in the words of Torah Teka, of the I Torah, thy direction, instruction, and in thy commandments for Iva and Iva. They are our life, I and I, liberty, and the measure of I and I, days, and we, I and I will meditate, will iditate on them day and night. Mayest thou, the I, never take away thy love from I and I. Praise, blessed be thou, O Jehovah, who lovest thy people, Yisrael. Baruch atah Yahuwah, O Heib, Amo Yisrael. Blessed praise, increase, prosper be thee, O he who be who he be, who lovest thy people, Israel. Baruch Ata Yahwa Oheb Amo Yisrael. And here, 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 when praying without a minyan, without the ten, the ten Torah observant brethren, when praying without a minyan, begin with these words in the Hebrew El Melech Ne'eman. El, the power, is a faithful king. El, Hail. El Melech Ne'eman. El, the power, the true good, the true God. Melech, king, Ne'eman. Ne'eman. Faithful, the Aman. Here from Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 to 9. <coughs> Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 to 9. Shema Yisrael, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Yahuwah Echad. Hear, O Israel. He who be who he be, our power, our Elohim. He who be who he be, the one. Shema Yisrael. Yahuwah Eloheinu. Yahuwah Echad. Praise be his glorious kingdom. His glorious government for Ivan and Ivan forever and ever. Baruch Shem. Kobod Malkuto Le'olam Wa'ed. You shall love Yahuwah. Jehovah. He who be who he be, Eloheka, the I Elohim of all your heart and of all your soul and of all your might. And you shall take to heart, heart to call, these words that I command you this day. You shall teach them diligently to your children. And you shall meditate, iditate on them when you are at home in the bite. And when you are on a journey or trod. And when you retire for the night. And when you rise up. In the dawning, in the morning, and you shall tie a reminder of them up on, upon your hand and between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorposts in your home, in your bite, and on the gates of your cities. Here, here, the Barim, Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 13 to 21. And if you will obey my commandments, Wahaya Im Shemoa Tisha Meu, and if y'all will obey my commandments, Wahaya Im Shemoa Tisha Meu, that I command you this day to love Yahweh Loheka, He who be who be your Elohim, and to serve Him with fullness of heart and soul, then. I will grant you my gift of timely rain for your land in autumn and in spring, and you will harvest your grain, your wine, and your oil. I will also give grass in your fields for your cattle, and you will eat the fruit of your labor and be satisfied. Beware, be aware, lest you be misled into turning aside from the right course to worship alien Elohim and to bow down to them. Ha'el, Elohim will be angry with you and he will close Shemayi, the heavens, the place of the upper waters, so that there will be no rain and the earth will not yield produce and you will fast, disappear from the good land that Yahuwah, that Jehovah has given you. 
Therefore shall you attend to these words of mine with heart and soul, and you shall bind and remind of them on your hands and between your eyes, and you shall teach your children to meditate, to meditate on them when you are at home in the bite, and when you are on a journey a trod, and when you retire for the night, and when you rise up in the dawning in the morning, and you shall write them on the doorpost in your bait, in your home, and on the gates of your cities. Thus, like this, will your life, your liberty, and that of your children be prolonged on the land that Yahuwah, that he who be, who he be, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Baruch Hashem, the Holy One, blessed be he, blessed be the name, promised your ancestors. For as long as the sky remaineth over the earth, over the earthly plain. And here, Numbers, Numbers, Bamidbar, Numbers, chapter 15, verses 37 to 41. Wayomer Yahweh el Moshe Lemor and Jehovah spoke to Moses, saying, Speak, Daber, speak, Daber, speak to the children of Israel, Daber el Bnei Yisrael, and bid them, and bid them make fringes on the corners of their garments throughout their generations, adding to the fringe of each corner a thread of blue. And the fringe, tzitzit, shall be to you as a sign, so that in beholding it, you will be reminded to fulfill all the commandments of Yahuwah, of Jehovah, and you, y'all, shall not follow the promptings of the heart or the attractions of, of your eyes to be misled by them. Thus, like this, will you remember to carry out all my commandments and you will be wholly set apart before your Elohim. I be, he who be, who he be, Ani, Yahuwah, Eloheikem, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim to be your Elohim. I, Yahuwah, am your Elohim. Ani, Yahuwah, Eloheikem, Asher, Roho, Tzaytia, Etikema, Me, Eret, Mitzrayim, Lihiyota, Lakem Lelohim Ani Yahuwah Eloheikem Emet We Emuna Emet True and certain it is Emet We Emuna True and certain it is that he is Yahuwah He is Jehovah I and I, I and I, Elohim. Ki hu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, that he be, he who be, who he be, I and I, Elohim. Ki hu, Yahuwah Eloheinu, there is none else. We ain Zulato. And that we, Amo Yisrael, the people of Israel, have been summoned to his service. It is he who redeemed us, I and I, from the might of kings. He delivered, I and I, from the grip of tyrants. Eloheinu, I and I, Elohim, brought judgment upon our enemies, our haters, and retribution upon, upon our oppressors, I and I, down presses. His saving acts are beyond our understanding, understanding, overstanding. His wonders are infinite. He kept us, I and I, in life and liberty, and he did not allow us, I and I, to stumble. He led us, I and I, victorious over the strong places of our enemies, over the strong places of I and I haters. He sustained, I and I, strength in the face of all our foes. He wrought miracles and judgments against Paro and performed signs and wonders in the land of Mitzrayi. He from bondage to freeness. But their pursuing foes perish in the depths of the sea. His children witness his triumph as they praise Shemo, as they praise the Hashem, his name. In gladness they declare their loyalty to his kingdom, their loyalty to his government. 
Moshe led the Bnei Yisrael in the song of acclaim. Who can compare to thee, to the eye and power, O El, O Elohim? Who can compare to thee in holiness, in idleness, in set apartness? Mi kamoka baelim. Who can compare to thee in power? Who can compare to thee in power, Yahweh, O Jehovah? Who can compare to thee in holiness and set apartness? Me, Kamoka, Ne Idara, Bangladesh. Thou dost ever perform wondrous deeds. None, no one can recount thy praises, thy eyes. They acknowledged the sway of his might. As they beheld his wonders in the Yam Suf, in the Etarabahir, in the Red Sea, in the Eritrean Sea. This is Eli. This is my God. This is my power. This is Eli. Ze Eli. Anu. We Amru. This is Eli. This is my power. They proclaim Yahuwah. Jehovah will reign. Forever and ever. Yahuwah Yimlok Le Olam Waed. Yahuwah Jehovah has ever freed Yaakob, Jacob. He has saved him from adversaries, adversaries, adversities mightier than he. Praise be thou, the I, the Yahuwah, he who be who he be, Redeemer of Yisrael. Baruch Ata Yahuwah. Gael, Yisrael, cause us, I and I, Yahweh Eloheinu, Jehovah our Elohim, to retire for the night in shalom, in peace, and in the dawning, in the morning. Do thou the I, Malkeinu, our king, awaken I and I again to life and liberty. Enfold us, I and I, with thy protecting shalom, peace, and improve us, improve I and I, with thy good counsel. Help us, help I and I, for thou art a merciful El, a merciful power. Shield us, shield I and I against foe, and plague, and sword, and famine, and grief. Liberate us, liberate I and I from evil powers that assail us, assail I and I on every side. Shelter us, shelter I and I by thy presence, by thy face, by thy perception. For thou, O oh, El, Elohim art a our guardian and deliverer. Thou, O Elohim, art a gracious and merciful king. Mayest thou the I guard our coming and our going for life, for liberty and shalom and peace now and for ever. Mayest thou enfold us, enfold I and I with the shelter of thy, of the I shalom, of the I peace. Praise, blessed be thee, O Yahuwah Jehovah, who spreadest peace, shalom over I and I, over all thy people, Yisrael, and over Yerushalayim. Baruch Ata Yahuwah, Ha Pores, Sukata Shalom Aleinu, we all call Amo Yisrael, we all Yerushalayim. And here, 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 fulfillment here on the Sabbath, on the Shabbat. This is what we say from Exodus chapter 31, verses 16 to verse 17. The Bnei Yisrael, the sons, the children of Yisrael, shall keep the Sabbath day and observe it throughout their generations for an everlasting eternal covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days, Yahuwah Jehovah made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day, his work ceased. And he ordained, he ordained rest. Wishamru b'nei Yisrael et ha-shabata, la-esota et ha-shabata, le-dorotama, berita olam. Beinia u beina bnei Israel ot hi le olam 
ki shesheta yamim asa yahwa etaha shamayi we et ha aret u bayom ha shbi shabat wa ya ye na fash here 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 is this instance going over this once again exodus 31 16 to 17 and the children of israel shall keep shall observe shall keep the sabbath day and observe it observe her observe it throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant with shamru and they shall keep b'nai yisrael the children of israel shall keep et hashabbat the sabbath la isot la isot to do et hashabbat do the sabbath lidorotam do the rest lidorotam throughout their generation barit Barit, the covenant olam, an eternal covenant. It is a sign between I and the Bnei Yisrael forever. Beini, between I, Ubain, and between Bnei Yisrael, the sons of Israel, Ot, Ot, a sign, he, she, Ot, he, she is a sign, le olam, for Iva, forever. For in six days Yahuwah made heaven and earth. Ki shesheta yamim asa Yahuwah eta hashemayim weeta haaret. And on the seventh day his work ceased. U bayom hashbi Shabbat. And he ordained rest. Waye nafash. Shabbat shalom. Sembet Salam, here, 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 riding up with the Amida, which comes in after this right here. Here, here, for the... Hey, Shabbat Shalom, fam. Shabbat Shalom, Chavarim. Shabbat Shalom, people. Right here, here, here. This is... It's the Sabbath day. This is by one named Benjamite right here. We'd like to play this one here, instrumental by Rico Dubwise. Give credit where credit is due. It's a beautiful tune right here because it has that portion from the overview and the sabbatical, you say say the sabbatical order right there, pointing to sacred scriptures. Right here, 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 Benjamite. It's the Sabbath day. Right here, here, here for the Sabbath Thus, day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because within it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created. In the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew.
with you, that's the way it's supposed to be. That's what the Father said we're supposed to do. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by the words that proceeded by him that sits upon the highest throne. From the heaven to the earth, angel and man abstain from birth. Just as it was from him the first, why should I divert? Even love forsake vacation, traveling and spending time one on one. It's a way of strengthening, Hey, you not. We should do the same thing with the Almighty One. Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat. Yes, this is the Shabbat. On the Sabbath Eve, the cross shined and had the heavens embroidered with stars. Of all the sun is seen, the cross shined and had the heavens embroidered with stars. stars, stars, stars. So I and I and I and I children sing and praise thy power, even the first power of the Holy Trinity, the Maui, Haile Selassie. My name ready, my name ready, my name ready, my name ready, my name ready. Hey, here, here, the Ha Shabbat dub right here, 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 pointing to the scriptures. Exodus, Exodus chapter 31, verses 16 to 17, also connected with the Shabbat day, the order right here, here, here on the 8th, Chaim, the tree of life, dove, yes, sir. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe HaShabbat throughout their generations, a perpetual covenant. It's a sign between me and the children of Israel, the children of Israel forever. For six days, Jehovah made Hashemayim, the heavens and earth and the earthly plain. And on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed, 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 refreshed. Beni u ven bene Israel oti le olam ki sheshetta yamin asah yahua. את השמיים ואת הארץ וביום השביעי שבת שבת וינחש את 
is a sign between I and the sons of Yisrael. Baini u vein b'nei Yisrael. Ot he she is a sign. Ot he ot, he ot, he. Baini u vein b'nei Yisrael. Ot he le olam le olam le olam le olam for she it is. She is a sign between I and the children of Israel le olam for I the olam ki asheshet yamim asah yahuwa for in six days ki asheshet yamim he who be who he be made asah yahuwa Jehovah made et hashamayim the heavens and the earth and the earthly plain and on the seventh day Shavata He sees from work Shavat 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 Wayinafash Wayinafash and rested. He rested and was refreshed. Shavat Wayinaf Naf 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 Naf
Cha Rastafari. Oh Lord, open thou my lips, my lips, my lips, my lips. Adonai Shefatai Tifta, 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 Tifta. And my mouth shall show forth thy praise, thy praise, thy praise, thy praise, thy praise, thy praise. Ufi Yagit the Hilla Teha, Hilla Teha, Hilla Teha, Hilla Teha, Hilla Teha, Hilla Teha. For thou desirest not sacrifice, not sacrifice, not sacrifice, not sacrifice, not sacrifice, not sacrifice. So here, 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 here in the Shimona Esrei, in the Amidah, the standing prayer, this opening line here, line here. So here, 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 here in the Shimona Esrei, in the Amidah, the standing prayer, this opening line here from the Shimona Esrei, that comes from Psalm, is found in Psalm, Psalm 51, David, Dawid, Hamelech's his repentance prayer, prayer of repentance. In the Hebrew, it will be found in Psalms, the Hebrew Psalter, Book of Psalms, Mesmur Dawit. It will be found in Psalm 51 at the 17th verse, KJV. In the King James Version, this will be the 15th, 15th verse. So here in the Hebrew, and this is the opening introductory verse, Adonai, Sifatai, Tifatach, U Fi Yagid, Tehilatecha. My Lord, Adonai, 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 Adonai. My sovereign, my master, Adonai, Sifatai, Sifatai, my lips, Tifatach, 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 from Fatach, Fatach, Petach, Fitah, like the Fitah Neges, opening in that sense. Here, uh, ancient, archaic, Afro-Shemitic root word. Here we have in the sense of Tifatach, Tifatach, open, Adonai, Sifatai, Tifatach, Ufi, Ufi, and my mouth, Fi, Ufi, Yagid. Yagi to declare, to agada to tell. Yagi to tell. Ufi yagi and my mouth, my fi u and fi my mouth. Yagi will tell. Tehilateka, tehilateka, tehilateka. The eyes tehila, tehila. The eyes eyes elilta elililil. Symbolically the elilta halel the halel tehila tehila. In this sense here, tehilateka. Ka, the I male speaking directly to he who be we be. So this introductory verse from the Amida, the Amida, from the standing prayer, the Amida, also known as the Shimona, Shimona eight Esre, Esre ten, Shimona eight Esre ten, the eighteen benedictions, the eighteen Burkot, the eighteen Barakas. So here a couple of reasonments here from the Hebrew Psalm fifty one verse seventeen, corresponding to King James Version. Psalm 51 at verse 15. But here, 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 this verse, my Lord, my Adon, Adonai, open my lips, Sifatai, Tiftach, that my mouth may declare your praise, being brought out as that, so that. Literally in the Hebrew is Adonai, Sifatai, Tiftach, Ufi, and my mouth. But in a translative sense, so that my mouth, Adonai, open my lips, so that my mouth, and my mouth, Ufi, Yagid, Tehilatecha, and my mouth shall declare, shall tell, Yagid, Yagid, Tehilateka. This introductory verse of the Shemona Esrei, of the 18 benedictions, the 18 Burkot, Barakas, blessings, the Amida, the standing prayer, this introductory verse is the key to effective and successful, prosperous, fruitful Tefillah, Tefillah, prayer, Tefillah. Tefillah prayer, Tehila, Tehila praise, Isis. Now, it is said not to have appeared in some of the older or original versions of the Amida, Amida, there's some of old version of the Amida, the standing prayer, where this particular verse did not was not found, because it is said that in the earlier generations, even simple, simple Yehudi, Yehudim, Jews, Judahites, Yehudi, Judahites, they were capable of concentrating of concentrating, focusing, focusing intensely on tefillatam, on their prayers, their tefillah, their tefillah, their prayers. However, with the passage of time, men, men and people, they began to pay less and less attention to ha'el, ha'el, 
to the power with true good, true God, Hakados, Baruch Hu, Hashem, throughout the workday, throughout the workday. And so they had to struggle. One had to struggle. Even nowadays, if we're honest, we can see that there's more of a struggle to focus, focus eye and eye minds. They had to struggle to focus their minds on Him, on Ha and Elohim, on the power of the true good, the true God, at Tefillah, Tefillah time, at the Iowa for prayer, at prayer time. Therefore, the sages of the later times, seeing this, seeing how this had crept in, had inserted this particular verse from the Sefer Tehillim, from the Psalter, as a special prayer to be able to pray. So here we have the opening, the introductory verse, Adonai, Sefatai, Tiftah, Hufi, Yagid, Tehilateka. My Adon, my sovereign, Adonai, open, open the eye, open my lips, Sefatai, Tiftah, and my mouth, Ufi, Yagid, Tehilateka, and my mouth shall declare, my mouth will declare, will tell of thy eyes. So here, this is as a prayer, to be able to pray and to focus. Although although in the Amida, right, we may not interrupt between what's known as the Geula, the Geula, Gula, Geula. The Gula is the Braka, the blessing of redemption of the Geula, Geula, redemption. Though we're not allowed and we don't interrupt between the Geula, the Braka, blessing of redemption, and Tefillah, the Tefillah, the Isis, the Amida, the standing prayer, especially in the morning, this verse is not considered an interruption. Rather, since it is a crucial plea, there's a plea here, Adonai, Sifatai, Tiftach, Ufi, Yagid, Tehilateka, this is a, a plea. O oh Lord, Adonai, Lord of His mercy, Adonai, Sifatai, Tiftach, open my lips, Ufi, and my mouth, Yagid, Tehilateka. It's a prayer for concentration a prayer for focus, in prayer. So we have a plea, a prayer-like plea from the Psalms, from Psalm 51, Hebraically, the 17th verse, KJV would be the 15th verse, but this plea here, this introductory verse, this is called right here, Tefillah Arikta, Arikta, Tefillah Arikta. What is Tefillah Arikta? Tefillah Arikta. A little Aramaic right here, here, here. This is an extension of the prayer, extension of the prayer. The tefillah, tefillah, prayer, arikta, arikta, extension, an extension of the prayer. A parfering is what we have right here. This particular verse, Adonai, Sifatai, Tiftach, Ufi, Yagi, Tehillah, Teka, it sets the time, the time, the hour of prayer, and it reminds us, reminds I and I that today, prayer, prayer, tefillah, tefillah, it replaces ha Hekal, the Hekal's the tabernacle, the temple, and the Hekal, speaking of the temple, particularly the second temple, 70 AD, that yeah, tefillah, it replaces ha Hekal's the sacrificial, the sacrifice offerings. It is taken from Psalm 51. In that psalm, Dawid, David, Hamelech, David the king, the Gus Dawid, he expresses his deep, his deep, deep remorse, his penitence over Chato, Chato, over his alchemy with Bat Shava with Bathsheba. He laments and he pleads in the song, Adoni, Adonai, Adonai, I open my lips that my mouth may declare thy praise. For thou, the I, desire no offering, else I would give it. A burnt offering thou, the I, do not favor. The offerings of High Lahim of the power are a broken spirit, a heart broken and crushed, O oh, Elohim. You, the I, will not despise. So here, here we have Psalm 51, verses 17 to 19. Adonai sefatai tiftach hufi yagi tehilateka ki lo tachpot zebach we etena ola lo tilzeh zivche Elohim ruach nishbara le nishbara we nidkeh Elohim lo tilzeh. O oh, Adonai, 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 open thou my lips, Sifatai Tiftach, and my mouth shall declare, shall tell of thy praise, thy eyes, Ufi Yagi, Tehilateka, for thou delightest not in sacrifice, Ki, Lo Tachpot Zabach, else I would give it, else would I give it, We Etena, We Etena, 
wherein it came out, I would give it. Ola, law, till eh, thou hast no pleasure in burnt offering. Ola, ola, burnt offering, holocaust offering, burnt offering, ola, ola, law, till eh, law, till eh, the eye has no favor, no pleasure, no favor in the ola, ola, in the burnt offering, ola, law, till eh. Zibchei Elohim Ruach Nishbara Le Nishbara We Nidke Elohim Lo Tivze. The sacrifices of Elohim are a broken spirit. Zibchei Elohim Zibchei the sacrifices of Zibchei Elohim of Elohim Zibchei Elohim Ruach Ruach Spirit Iris Ruach Nishbara Nishbara a broken ruach ruach nishbara ruach nishbara a broken ruach a broken iron leib nishbara leib nishbara a broken heart with nidke with nidke venidke and contrite and and kind of crushed nidke venidke and crushed lev nishbara venidke venidke and crushed Elohim, O power, thou the eye wilt not despise. Lo tibze, lo tibze, lo tibze. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufi yagid tehilatika ki lo atach potza zebacha we etena ola lo tibze. Zivche Elohim ruacha nishbara leim nishbara we nidke Elohim lo tibze. So here, 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 these three lines right here, based on the the base Yosef Tor Orachai, one eleven, name of Robeno Yona. Now the purpose of prayer, the purpose of tefillah, is for man to stand in the presence, in the face, the perception of Ribon Shel Olamim, of the Master, the Universe, the Universal Master, and to recognize Ha'el Ha'el, the power, the Almighty's greatness. And man's insignificance alone, man is worthless. Alone, man is worthless. Only in Ha Elohim, Ha Elohim's, only in Elohim do we discover self worth. Karmawi Nagus Nigan says that um, concerning man, and he says, although there's no perfection in humanity, Karmawi Nagus Nigan, the King Messiah, Karmawi Hadaslas, he says, Although there is no perfection in humanity, this brings out the sense that alone, apart from Ha'el, Ha'el, Ha'ilahim, the power, the true good, the true God, man is worthless. Only in Ha'ilahim, the power, true good, true God, do we discover self-worth. This awareness, this humility is called a broken spirit and a crushed heart. A broken spirit and a crushed heart. Heart, the lab ni shabar, the lab a broken and a contrite, a broken and a contrite heart. Lab ni shabar, we need care, we need care. Now one Rebbe, Kotzer uh, Rebbe, had put it simply, pithily, and said, "I have found nothing so perfect and complete as a humble, broken heart." So here, this brings us to the sense another. Reasoning brought out by this opening, this opening line, Adonai Sifatai Tiftach Ufi Yagid Tehilat Teka. Rambam, Amuna Uvitachon, Chapter Five, maintains that in the context of this verse, the term, the term Sifatai, 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 my lips. This is related to Sifat Ha Nahar, Sifat Ha Nahar, Sifat. Right. This will be brought out as the river bank, the river lip, the lip of Ha Nahar, the Nahar, the Nile, the Nahar, the river bank, the Sefah Ha Nahar, the river bank or the the lip of the river, Sefat Ha Nahar. This is the barrier that confines the river to its narrow channel. Harav Mordecai Gifta had elaborated on this particular theme, saying that man's soul, man's psyche. She is restricted and stifled within the very narrow confines of his finite body. But when man, when the human being stands in tefillah and prayer before the infinity of the Almighty, of his Maker, his eternal soul 
she is aroused and she surges until she overflows the restrictive banks of the body. Man's worst crimes are the crimes he commits against himself. Again, Ani Lechoser. Man's worst crimes are the crimes he commits against himself. How wantonly, wanty, wanty, wantonly he wastes every one of Hailehim, of Elohim's gifts, and how irresponsibly he creates obstacles in the path that Hailehim, that Elohim has cleared for him. The ultimate purpose of prayer is to remove these impediments, these psycho-spiritual impediments, and energize oneself in the presence of Borei Shali, of my creator, Fetari, I am inspired to make the following commitment to myself. Today is a fresh start. I will surpass all past performances. I cast aside those mental blocks, those emotional blocks, those mental blocks and emotional locks that I place in my own path. Today, I am a free man exercising my divine, divine gifts of completely free choice. I have an open mind and I unlock the chains of prejudice and preconceived notions. Today, I embark wholeheartedly, holistically upon, upon the path of excellence and I put the world on notice. Ain davar omer bi fene ha radzon. Nothing can withstand the force of the human will. Ain davar omed bi fene ha ratzon. Nothing, nothing can withstand. Ain no davar, no davar, davar like word or matter or thing, word, matter or thing. Ain davar omed, omed, omed. No word, no matter, nothing. Omed to stand. Bifne, bifne, bifne haratzon. In the face before haratzon, before the will, before the will. Nothing can stand before the will. Ain davar omed bifne haratzon. Here, here on the divine Ivine dialogue. Let's look more right here. The divine Ivine dialogue. This is based on the opening words of the Amida. Of the Shemona Esare, Arnai, Sifatai, Tiftach, Ufi, Yagit, Elatika, Rav, Adok, Aha, Kohen, Zidkas, Haz, Adik, and explain why we must pray for our lips. Why? Lama Zet. Why must we pray for our lips? We must pray for our lips to be opened before we can commence prayer. Why? We must pray for our lips. We must pray for our lips to be opened before we can commence, begin prayer. Ha'el, Ha'el, the omnipresent is everywhere, and yet, so to speak, he he took a, a a fragment of his spirit and embedded it within a human body. This is the human. This is the neshama. Neshama. Hebraically also referred to as the soul, but here the neshama is like the breath. Speaking of that breath, that breath of life, right? The life, you could say, of the soul. The slither, the sliver, as one can say, right? A fragment of Ha'el. Hailehim constantly yearns to reattach itself to the divine, the divine source. But the human body is a physical, a physical obstruction that interferes. However, at the times ordained for prayer, for tefillah, the supplicant, quote, strips his body away for his soul, according to one Rebbe Rabbeinu Yonah, Jonah, so that the soul may embrace its source. Thus, like this, prayer is not so much man speaking to Ha'el, Ha'elahim, to the Elohim. It is the Elohim, Ha'el, the Elohim, the power inside man speaking to Ha'el, Ha'elahim, the power outside of man, completing, so to speak, the loop. Therefore, the introduction to prayer is a plea for Ha'elohim, the power to open our lips and remove all physical, physical impediments to the dialogue between the divine, the Ivine within us, within I and I, and the Ivine all around us, all around I and I. Furthermore, in one of the ancient teachings of Talmud Barakos 34b, it relates that the pious Rebbe Hanina ben Dosa had a clear indication whether his prayers were effective. And this is his indication we share this right here. 
quote, if my words flow smoothly and my mind is concentrated and clear, I am sure that to Salati my prayer was accepted. But if I stumble over my words and my mind is distracted or diverted, I know that to Salati my prayer was unacceptable. When prayer to Fila flows smoothly, it 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 emanates from the soul, from the psyche. If one prays with difficulty, he or she is merely moving his lips, but his soul, his psyche, she remains silent. Silence, 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 silence. Me, 
Adonai Shefatai Tiftah 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 And my mouth shall show forth thy praise thy praise thy praise thy My Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, and God of our Father, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, the great, mighty, and awesome God, exalted God who bestows bountiful kindness, who creates all things, who remembers the piety of the patriarchs, and who in love brings the Redeemer to their children's children for the sake of His name. O King, you are a helper, a savior, and a shield. Blessed are you, Lord, shield of Abraham. You are mighty forever, my Lord. You resurrect the dead, you are powerful to save. You sustain the living with loving kindness, resurrect the dead with great mercy, support the falling, heal the sick, sick, release the bound, and fulfill your trust to those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, mighty one? And who can be compared to you, King, who brings death and restores life? and causes deliverance to spring forth. You are trustworthy to revive the dead. Blessed are you, Lord, who revives the dead. We will hallow and adore you as a sweet word of the assembly of the holy seraphim who tries to keep holy unto you as it is written by your prophets. And they call one to another and say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of the hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Blessed be the glory of the Lord from its place. And in your holy scriptures it is written thus, The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Praise the Lord. You are holy, and your name is holy, and holy beings praise you daily for all eternity. Blessed are you, Lord, the holy God. You graciously bestow knowledge upon man and teach mortals understanding. Graciously bestow upon us from you wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Blessed are you, Lord, who graciously bestows knowledge. Cause us to return our Father to your Torah. Draw us near our King to your service, and bring us back to you in wholehearted repentance. Blessed are you, Lord, who desires sentiment. Pardon us, our Father, for we have sinned. Forgive us, our King, for we have transgressed. For you are a good and forgiving God. Blessed are you, Lord, great one who pardons abundantly. O oh, behold our affliction and wage our battle. Redeem us speedily for the sake of your name. For you, God, are the mighty Redeemer. Blessed are you, Lord, Redeemer of Israel. Heal us, O Lord, and we will be healed. Help us, and we will be saved. For you are our praise. Grant complete cure and healing to all our wounds. For you, Almighty King, are a faithful and merciful healer. Blessed are you, Lord, who heals the sick of his people, Israel. Bless for us, Lord our God, this year and all the varieties of his produce for good and bestow blessing upon the face of the earth. Satisfy us from your bounty and bless our year like other good years for blessing. For you are a generous God who bestows goodness and blesses the years. Blessed are you, Lord, who blesses the years. Sound the great shofar for our freedom. Raise a banner to gather our exiles and bring us together from the four corners of the earth into our land. Blessed are you, Lord, who gathers the dispersed of this people, Israel. Restore our judges as in former times, and our counselors as of yore. Remove from us sorrow and signs and reign over us. You alone, O Lord, with kindness and compassion, with righteousness and justice. Blessed are you, Lord, King, who lives righteousness and justice. Let there be no hope for reformers, and may all the heretics 
all the wicked instantly perish. May all the enemies of your people be speedily extirpated, and may you swiftly uproot, break, crush, and subdue the reign of wickedness speedily in our days. Blessed are you, Lord, who crushes enemies and subdues the wicked. May your mercies be aroused, Lord our God, upon the righteous, upon the pious, upon the elders of your people, the house of Israel, upon the remnant of their sages, upon the righteous proselytes, and upon us. Grant ample reward to all who truly trust in your name and place our lot among them. May we never be disgraced, for we have put our trust in you. Blessed are you, Lord, the support and security of the righteous. Return in mercy to Jerusalem, your city, and dwell therein as you have promised. Speedily establish therein the throne of David, your servant, and rebuild it soon in our days as an everlasting edifice. Blessed are you, Lord, who rebuild Jerusalem. Speedily cause the sign of David, your servant, to flourish and increase his power by your salvation, for we hope for your salvation all day. Blessed are you, Lord, who causes the power of salvation to flourish. Hear our voice, Lord our God, merciful Father. Have compassion upon us and accept our prayers in mercy and favor. For you are God who hears prayers and supplications. Do not turn us away empty-handed from you, our King, for you hear the prayer of everyone. Blessed are you, Lord, who hears prayer. Look with favor, Lord our God, on your people Israel and pay heed to their prayer. Restore the service to your sanctuary and accept with love and favor Israel's fire offerings and prayer. And may the service of your people Israel always find favor. May our eyes behold your return to Zion in mercy. Blessed are you, Lord, who restores his divine presence to Zion. We thankfully acknowledge that you are the Lord, our God, and God of our fathers forever. You are the strength of our life, the shield of our salvation in every generation. We will give thanks to you and recount your praise evening, morning, and noon. For our lives which are committed into your hands, for our souls which are entrusted to you, for your miracles which are with us daily, and for your continual wonders and beneficences. You are the beneficent one, for your mercy is never seen, the merciful one, for your kindness never ends, for we always place our hope in you. And for all these, may your name, our King, be continually blessed, exalted and extolled forever and all time. And all living things shall forever thank you and praise your great name eternally. For you are good. God, you are everlasting salvation and help, all benevolence, God, Blessed are you, Lord, beneficent is your name, and to you it is fitting to offer thanks. The shall peace, goodness, and blessings, life, graciousness, kindness, and mercy upon us, and upon all your people as well. Bless us, our Father, and all of us as one, with the light of your countenance. For by the light of your countenance, you gave us, Lord, our God, the Torah of life and loving kindness, righteousness, blessing, mercy, life, and peace. May it be favorable in your eyes to bless your people Israel at all times and at every moment with your peace. Blessed are you, Lord, who blesses his people Israel with peace. May the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable before you, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. My God, guard my tongue from evil and my lips from speaking deceitfully. Let my soul be silent to those who curse me. Let my soul be as dust to all. Open my heart to your Torah, and let my soul eagerly pursue your commandments. As for all those who plot evil against me, hasten to another their counsel and frustrate their desire. Let them be as chaff before the wind, let the angel of the Lord cast them away. That your beloved ones may be delivered, help with your right hand and answer me. Do it for the sake of your name, do it for the sake of your right hand, do it for the sake of your Torah, do it for the sake of your holiness. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable before you, Lord, for my strength and my Redeemer. He who makes peace in this heaven, may he make peace for us and for all Israel and say, Amen. May it be your will, Lord our God and God of our fathers, that the best Hamkidash be steadily re- rebuilt in our days and grant us portion in your Torah. In your Amen. Torah. In your 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 Torah. Bless Beab, Ubu, Manfat, Sadu, Adu, Amla, Aman. Princess has come out of Egypt. Ethiopians now stretches forth their hands unto God.
O God of Ethiopia, our Divine Majesty, Thy Spirit has come into our heart to dwell in the path of righteousness leads us. Help us to forgive that we must be forgiven. Teach us love, loyalty, and earth as it is in Zion. Endure us with thy wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to do thy will. Thy blessing to you, that the hungry be fed, the naked be clothed, the sick nourish, the aged protected, and the infants cared for. Deliver us from the hands of our enemies that we may prove fruitful in these last days. When our enemies are past and decay in the depths of the sea in the depths of the earth or in the bowels of a bee. Oh, give us all a place in thy kingdom forever. Sila. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Jah, thou art the strength and our Redeemer that liveth and reigneth in the heart of man. I say greetings in the name of his Imperial Majesty I, Haile Selassie I the First of Ethiopia. Honor and well wishes and favor. His foundation is in the whole of mountain. Jalavis the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things have been spoken of the O city of God. I'll make mention to Rehab and Babylon to them that know I. With the old Philistine entire with Ethiopia, it shall be said that this man was born there. And the highest himself shall establish the earth. Ja Rastafari! Mm, Babylon burning. Babylon burning. Babylon burning. They have no water. Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel. Shema Yisrael. Adonai Elohim. Adonai Echad. Psalm 95. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, for he is our God, 
and we are this people of his pastor and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, hearten not your heart, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways, to whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Psalm 96 O oh, sing to the Yahweh a new song. Sing to the Yahweh all the, all the earth. I'll read. Sing to the Yahweh, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory, his kabar, among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Yahweh made the Shemaim heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give to the Yahweh, you kindred of the people. Give to the Yahweh glory and strength. Give to the Yahweh the glory due to his name. Bring an offering and come to his courts. O oh, worship the Yahweh in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the Arach, all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Yahweh reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the Shemaim, let the Shemayawi, let the heavens rejoice and let the Arach, the earth, be glad. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Yahweh, for he come, for he come to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Psalm 97. Yahweh Buruku reigneth. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goes before him and burneth up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of Yahweh Buruku, at the presence of the master of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye Elohim. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Yehuda rejoiced because of thy judgment, O Yahweh. For thou, Yahweh, Buruku, are high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all Elohim. Ye that love Yahweh hate evil. He preserveth the souls of the saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked, the kufuwit. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in Yahweh Buruku, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Psalm 98, a psalm. O oh, sing to the Yahweh, he who be who he be. Ixiabi hath the sustainer, a new song. For he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. The Yahweh, he who be who he be, hath made known his salvation. His righteousness hath he openly shewed in the sight of the Eden. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward Beta Yisrael, the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of Eloheinu, our power. Make a joyful noise to the Yahweh, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Skana. Sing to the Yahweh with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a song. With trumpets and sound of cornet, make a joyful noise before the Yahweh, 
he who be who he be, his divine majesty, Kedamawi Haile Selassie, the Nagus, the king. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills be joyful together. Lifne Yahweh before he who be who he be. For he cometh to judge the earth. With righteousness shall he judge the world and the people with equity. Psalm 99 The Lord reigneth. Let the people tremble. He sitteth between the cherubims. Let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion and he is high above all the people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name, for it is holy. The king's strength also loveth judgment. Thou dost establish equity. Thou executest judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt ye the Lord our God, and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among them that call upon his name. They call upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spake to them in the cloudy pillar. They kept his testimonies and the ordinance that he gave them. Thou answerest him, Lord our God. Thou wast a God that forgavest them, though thou tookest vengeance of their inventions. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Psalm 29. A Psalm of David. Ascribe to Yahweh, O ye sons of might. Ascribe to Yahweh glory and strength. Ascribe to Yahweh the glory due to his name. Worship Yahweh in the beauty of holiness. The voice of Yahweh is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth, even Yahweh upon many waters. The voice of Yahweh is powerful. The voice of Yahweh is full of majesty. The voice of Yahweh breaketh the cedars. Yea, Yahweh breaketh in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of Yahweh heweth out flames of fire. The voice of Yahweh shaketh the wilderness. Yahweh shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of Yahweh maketh the hinds the calf, and strippeth the forest bare. And in his temple all say glory. Yahweh sat enthroned at the flood. Yea, Yahweh sitteth as king forever. Yahweh will give strength to his people. Yahweh will bless his people with peace. Yahweh yibarek et amo ba shalom. It is good that you are here to record this picture of me in my palace garden at Addis Ababa. People who see this throughout the world will realize that even in the 20th century, with faith, courage, and a just cause, David will still beat Goliath. <laughs> My advice to all advice to all advice to all advice to all is to fulfill the ten commandments. Fulfill the ten commandments. Fulfill the ten commandments. I say, give unto Rastafari, O Almighty, give unto Rastafari glory and strength. Give unto Rastafari the glory due unto his name. Worship Rastafari and beauty of holiness. The voice of Rastafari is up on the waters. The voice of Rastafari is under it. Rastafari is up on many waters. The voice of Rastafari is full of power. The voice of Rastafari is full of majesty. More love and more honesty. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Peace, peace. Mizmor Kaftet, Mizmor Le David. Havu la donai bene elim. Havu la donai kavod vaoz. Havu la donai kevod shemo. 
והשתחוו לאדוני בהדרת קודש. כל אדוני על המים אל הכבוד הרעים, אדוני על מים רבים. כל אדוני בכוח, כל אדוני בהדר. כל אדוני שובר ארזים, וישבר אדוני את ארזי הלבנון. וירקידם כמו עגל, לבנון וסיריון כמו בן רעמים. כל אדוני חוצב להבות אש. כל אדוני יכיל מדבר, יכיל אדוני מדבר קדש. כל אדוני יחולל איילות, ויחשוף יערות ובהיכלו, כולו אומר כבוד. אדוני למבול ישב, וישב אדוני מלך לעולם. אדוני עוז לעמו ייתן, אדוני יברך את עמו ושלום, 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 ושלום. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. אנא בכוח ליבג די, אנא, אנא בכוח. גדולת הימין נקרא תתיר אסרורה, with the strength and greatness of thy right arm, גדולת הימין נקרא תתיר אסרורה, untangle our אינאינטי פייט. תעביר ארי נא תעמקה, accept your people thy people song. Kaver arina ta ameka Sangveid, sangveid, sangveid Kahreen, nora, nora Elevate and purify us Sangveid, sangveid, sangveid Kahreen, kahreen Elevate and purify I and I Nora, nora Awesome one, dread it one, dread it one Awesome one, na gibor Please, heroic one, mighty one Na gibor Those who pursue your uniqueness, guard them as the pupil of the eye. Bless them. May your righteousness always reward, always reward them. Chasin Kadosh Berov Tuvaka. Powerful and holy and Isla one. In goodness, in goodness, Nahela Edateka. In goodness, lead your flock. Yahida Ge'e Le'ameka Bine Zokreya Kedushateka. Unique and proud one. To your people turn. Zokre. Those who remember Kedushateka, your holiness, your islandness, your set apart, set apart, set apart. Show Ate Nukavel, accept our cry, our cry, our cry, our cry. Show Ate Nukavel, accept our cries. Ushma, Ushma, Ushma. And hear, and hear our screams, accept our cries, our shout outs. Show our dead, Kavir Ushima, Ushima, Ushaik Aden, 
Yo de A Ta Elumont O Noah of Mysteries of Secrets Yo de A Ta Elumont Baruch Shem Kovod Malkuto Le Olam Oed Blessed is the name of his majesty of his noble kingdom for Ivan and I Lecha dodi, lecha dodi, lecha dodi, shabbat, nekapala. Come, O oh friend, the bride to meet. Come, O oh friend, the Sabbath greet. Lecha dodi, lecha takala, tene shabbat, nekapala. To be repeated after each stanza. Lika todi likrati atala pene shapati nikapala. Keep and remember were fused in one word. When the voice divine, I vine at Sinai, Sinai was heard. Wa echad ushmo echad echad. Wa he be we be Jacoba. Yia chaja echad ushmo echad. Our Jehovah is one, and one is His name. His name. His name. Hua echad, ushmo echad, lechem ulati areta v'tehila. In Him is our glory. In Him, our fame. I and I fame. Lekadudi likrati kala pne shabati nikavla. Oh, come, let us make I and I meet the Queen of Days. 
the Sabbath hot Shabbat yield to joy in all her ways. The last of Elohim's walk, but first in his design. The Sabbath hot Shabbat foreshadows blessing, Raka, divine, blessings I find. Lekado di likrati akala, bne Shabbati and mikabala. Thou holy city, Isla city, thou shrine of Hamelech, of the king, of the Nagus, even Nagus and the guests. Enough of thy grieving. Come now and sing. Yahuwah Jehovah will redeem thee, I. Lift up thy face, Yahuwah Jehovah will restore thee, I, again, to his grace. Lekado di likrati akala, bne shabati and mikabala. Shake off thy dust and rise from the mire. Come and bedeck thee, I, in festive attire. Thy redemption is near, thy weeping, let cease. Yahuwah Jehovah will fulfill thy yearning for peace. Lechado di likrati akala, bne shabati and mikabala. Arise, oh arise, for come is thy light. The darkness is lifted, gone is the night. Awake, awake, sing the song of the free. See all thy homeless returning to thee. Lekato di alikrati akala, bne shapati in the Why art thou downcast? Why dost thou moan? Yahuwah Jah over his glory upon thee I has shown. Thy foes he vanquished, thy foes he vanked, he humbled their pride. Elo Hayik, the I Elohim has loved the I as bridegroom, his bride. Lekato di alikrati akala, bene shapati in the In freeness renewed again thou wilt thrive. Thy land will blossom, thy youth will revive. El Elohim, Steve, Sweet, I and I know, and ever acclaim, chanting our praises, I and I eyes to his holy, his Isla name. Lekato di alikrati akala, bene shapati and nikapala. We, I, and I greet the I, O Sabbath, O Shabbat, O Sendatoi, crowned. I Adonai, Shah Rastafari, we, I and I hail thee, I rejoicing in common accord. We, I and I are the faithful who bask in thy light. We, I and I welcome thy day. We, I and I welcome thy night. Lekado di alikrati kala, bene shabati and nikabala. Come, O friend, the bride to meet. Come, O friend. The Sabbath, hot Shabbat, the Sendet, greet. Glory to the Most High Jah, Rastafari, King of Kings, Lords of Lords, Conquering Lion of the Tribe of Judah, Elect of God, Light of the World, is these Imperial Majesty, Emperor Silas. Protect my son David as he travel this lonely path. Steer my son far from bloody men who surround him with opinions sharp as daggers. Bless him with a vision to distinguish friends from foes. Bless his listeners with overstanding and patience. Remind the critics that all judgment belongs to thee. May the words of thy mouth and the meditation of thy heart be acceptable in thy presence, Sila. Psalm 92. 
It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord, and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning, and thy faithfulness every night, upon an instrument of ten strings, and upon the psaltery, upon the harp with a solemn sound. For thou, Lord, hast made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doth the fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. But thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. For lo, thine enemies, O Lord, for lo, thine enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Mine eye also shall see my desire on mine enemies, and mine ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing to show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness, 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 بمز مور جاوي ستنا قوله بس ما آب و ول و من فس كلو سهاد و عملا دامي كبر لكفال و كبر لكستو و كبر لحايل و كبر لكدما و حايل لنا جا راك سفاعي اجا جا ويا Giving thanks and praises to the Most High, Jarasafari on the sultry, playing on the ten strings, showing love and kindness. Morning to night, I yeah. the brutish man will never know. Neither does the fool overstand his soul. Jah has made us triumph by the workings of our hands. Work and deep thought gives us purpose and a plan. Hey, aha, send Bethlehem. A song for the days of rest, yeah, inside your home and steal a Ben Bethlehem, Shabbat Shalom. A song for the days of rest, yeah, inside your home. When the wicked grow like the grass, workers of their iniquity. Hate the righteous path Rocks up our eyes Scatter them like sand Amidst the shore Enemies perish When jars on high Forevermore But my heart Shall you exalt Like the horn of Africa And I will be anointed With fresh oil With fresh oil Shabbat Shalom A song for the days of rest well, Inside your home And 
Mars and a little bit mine Used to be iron Babylon come with a different design And still it's all the same Better relax, sit and recline His majesty said unity and only turn on Well no for them are the sick and the blind You can see the divine Any place to be at the mall We call we I and I go Sure you find your bliss in a life Your face look different this time You find petition and prayer Balance with spiritual light Rasta are Israelite When Babylon feel like Trying to cut the branch Please let it grow out The roots of David he could only be so Got to take it easy Please take it slow Hey, oh, Send back salam Shabbat shalom Line of Judah Society, L-O-J-S Yeah! The bar we highly start I judge your way The Lord reigneth, he is clothed with majesty, the Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also is established, that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old, thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice, the floods lift up their waves. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house, O Lord, forever, 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 forever,
King David's rock your honor. We give our luck the stronger. We claim you drop the blessing, the proper success. The world is yours, you offer it to whomever calls you. I said, man, man, I said, my life, I said, me, Lord. With all of ourselves, the creeper is fighting. We know we rage in a war, we won't let him go. Even if the world don't turn, the fire will burn. The H Tammy, a core bond, some sacrifice. Yeah, put H on me. We clapping loud, screaming loud. We're gonna take the crown, bring it back straight to the king. Then we bow, my hoop complete. Yep, pick up a mix for lay down the hate. Ola my bar, or Ola my say. The feeling is great when we can say, Praise the shim, his name is great. Like the shine upon your crown Yeah, we're up so high In the midnight sky And we'll never come back down I Psalm 97. The Lord reigneth, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him, righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him, and burneth up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlighten the world, the earth soar and trembles. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth, thou art exalted far above all gods. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints, he delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Adonai Malach Tagel Haaretz, Yismechu Iyim Rabbim, Anan Vaarafel Sebibav, Tzedek U Mishpat Mechon Yisko, Esh Lefanav Telech, Utelahet Saviv Tzarav, Eiru Verakav Tebel, Raata Vatah El Haaretz, Harim Kadonad Namasu Milifne Adonai, מלפני אדון כל הארץ. הגידו השמיים צדקו, וראו כל העמים כבודו. יבושו כל עובדי פסל המתהללים באלילים, 
השתחוו לו כל אלוהים. שמעה ותשמח צביון, ותגלנה בנות יהודה למען משפטיך, אדוני. כי אתה, אדוני, עליון על כל הארץ, מאוד נעלת על כל אלוהים. אוהבי אדוני שין ורע, שומר נפשות חסידיו, מיד רשעים יצילם. אור זרוע לצדיק, ולישרי לב שמחה. שמחו צדיקים באדוני, והודו לזכר קודשו. Second Joe, ninety second Joe for the Great Spirit. So we have the Royal and Hard, the King of Kings Bible. We'll go through verse by verse. But let's just do a little more due diligence here on today's daily Psalm, Psalm ninety seven, from the Hebrew to Targum, a little verse by verse. That was um, Hashem Malek, you know, Hashem Malak, Hashem Yimlok. When Hashem is said, Hashem means the name, Hashem, the name Yahuwah. Malak, Malak has become king. Malak is king. Malak has become king or coronated. Malak is king. Malak will reign, will rule as king. So it goes to verse by verse. Stay tuned, stay tuned. And then also seal up with Royal and Hark, verse by verse from the King of Kings Bible, Revelation 5. five Psalm 97. Five. The Lord reigneth. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him and burneth up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the Lord of the whole earth, the heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous. And give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness, 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 of his holiness. Yes, yes, yes. So we have Ms. Moore here, here today, Daily Psalm. We have Ms. Moore, Psalm, Ms. Moore, Chant, Intonation, Ms. Moore. And when we say Ms. Moore, we're speaking specifically of the Psalms, especially the Tehillim and the Sefer Tehillim and the Psalter. the Hebrew book of Psalms, which has five books of Psalms, but generally speaking, the Hebrew book of Psalms, of praises, of the Tehillim, the Hallel, the Ilililil, the exaltation, you know, the praises, the Sefer Tehillim. So here we're at Mizmor Tzadai, Tzadai, the alpha numerical of the Hebrew Tzadai Zain, Tzadai Zain, Tzadai Zain, 
two Hebrew letters, the Sadai has a numerical value of 90, and Zain, Zain, somebody known as Zain, Zain, the Hebrew letter, is the seventh letter. So here we're at Mizmor Sadai Zain, Psalm XCVII, Psalm 97. And it seemed, Chabarim, it seemed the universal king, as I and I would say, the universal king, the universal king. This psalm, this mizmor, this chant, it develops the theme of the concluding verse of the preceding mizmor, the preceding psalm. So the preceding psalm right here is mizmor tzadai wow, modern Hebrew tzadai vav, and tzadai wow. Psalm 96, Psalm X C V I, and the, conc the concluding, the concluding verse, right here we have verse 13. Here from the Sefer Tehillim it reads, "Before the Lord, for He is come, for He is come to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness, and the peoples in His faithfulness." Now I think there's a different reading. Let's get the KJV of the sword right here. KJV, the King James Version. So if you're reading the King James Version, here we're at Psalm 97. And Psalm 97 here in the King James Version, well, actually Psalm 96, the last verse, Psalm 96, because today's daily Psalm, Psalm 97, is said to pick up on the theme of the last verse, of the concluding verse of the preceding Psalm. So here, Psalm 96 and 13, before the Lord, before Yahuwah, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness. Now note here, the KJV says, and the people with his truth. So there seems to be a divergence here between the Hebraic, the Judaic, and the KJV. So let's look at the Hebrew. It says, Lifne, Yahuwah, Kiba. Lifne before in the face of he who be who he be lifne Yahuwah ki ba ki for ba modern Hebrew ki va ki va here ki ba ki for ba for he come he is come ki ba for he is come lishpot ha aret lishpot to shafat lishpot to judge. Right to judge lishpot haaret to judge the earth, the earthly plane. Yishpot tevel b'tzedek. Yishpot, yishpot, right or yishpat here pointing yishpat here he will judge yishpat tevel or tevel modern Hebrew tevel more Afro Shemitic pointing tebel tebel yishpat tebel. Tebel is the world, but Tebel actually properly from the Hebrew, biblical Hebrew is defined as the inhabitable portions of the world, the inhabitable portions, the habitable portions of the world. Yishpat a Tebel b'tzedek, be in on by way of tzedek, righteousness. Then this last verse here that reads in the Sefer Tehillim, and the peoples in his faithfulness, we amim, we amim be emunato, we amim be emunato. Modern Hebrew, we amim be emunato. Emuna, emuna from the amene root, like the amen root, emuna, both mean faithfulness and also truth. It can also mean faith. Be emunato, another way of reading this from the Hebrew, where Amim and the people were Amim be Munato and the peoples by way of his faith, his faithfulness, but also his faith. The Amuna in Hebrew refers to like faith, Amuna, like trust. You could say confidence, credit in that sense. You know, trust and faith is very much connected in the Hebrew. So KJV says, in his truth which is more of a secondary translation, but also true, but also is in his faith, in his faithfulness. So the verse here, verse 13, Lifnei Yehovah, ki ba, ki ba, yishpot aharet, yishpat a tevel b'tzedek, we amim be emunato, 
before in the face of he who be who he be, for he come, for he come, kiba, kiba, he come to judge the earth. He will judge the world, the inhabitable portions of the world with righteousness, and the peoples by way of his face, his faithfulness, which is his truth. Now, here, there's a footer here, and it says that the verse is repeated in Psalm 98 and 9, 98 and 9. This verse is repeated. So let's just go 98 and 9. It says, before the Lord, for he has come to judge the earth, he will judge the world with righteousness. But here's the difference here. And the peoples with equity, with Amin, Be-Mesharim. Sharim in his Yashar, in his Yashar, his uprightness, which is translated as equity. So this verse right here, 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 the concluding verse of Psalm 96 becomes the theme here of today's daily psalm, means Zain, Psalm 97. Judge, judge in this sense here is a lishpot, Right from Shafat, the the verb root means to rule over, means to rule over. Right, we have the Shoftim, the judges, the judges. Right, must the judges and officers, Shoftim, the Shotarim. Right, the Shoftim, the judges. Note that judging, right, that judging Hebraically has no terrible sound. Right, it doesn't have a terrible sound to a Hebrew, and in Hebrew, in the true Hebrew context, that judging like ruling, rule over, or even the sense of overruling. With righteousness shall he judge the poor we have in Yeshia, Yeshia, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 4. On the contrary, when it is Ha Elohim, the true good, the true God, Yahweh Eloheinu, who, he who be, who he be, who is Ha Shofet, who is the judge, Ha Shofet, the Shofet, judge, Ha Shofet, the occasion is one for universal, universal gladness. He will judge, connected with righteousness. Another quotation here from Psalm 9, around verse 9. Faithfulness, fidelity to his yea, yea, and his amen, amen. Be emunato. So once again, the verse that becomes a theme, according to some, who have studied this, the psalm develops the theme of the concluding verse of the preceding psalm, which is Psalm 96, verse 13. Once again, Lifnei Yahuwah ki ba, ki ba, lishpota ha'aretza, yishpata tevel bisedek, we'amim be'emunato. So we have this psalm, today's daily psalm, here picking up on that theme. Before he who be who he be, for he is come, for he is come to judge the earth. He would judge the inhabitable world with righteousness and the peoples in his faithfulness, in his faith, in his truth. So today's daily psalm is most Zain. It tells of the effects that result from Ha Elohim, from the true good, the true God's assumption of the judgeship over the world. The dismay it creates for the wicked, for the ratchet, and the light, the illumination it brings to the tzadikim, to the righteous. The author of this psalm, today's daily psalm, Psalm 97, Mizmor Tzadai Zain, was not, it is said, an original poet, but he was a masterly hymn writer. There is scarcely a phrase. Habarim, a phrase in the psalm in Psalm 97, which is also one of the six psalms, you know, for the Kabbalat Shabbat, the welcoming of the Sabbath on the Friday Eve from Psalm 95 to Psalm 99 plus Psalm 29. And in the psalms from 95 to 99 is today's daily psalm right here. And in today's daily psalm and in Psalm 97, there's scarcely a phrase in the psalm that is not borrowed. But he combines, whoever combines this psalm for no doubt, you know, collective, you know, worship, the language of earlier psalmists and prophets, Nabim, into a costly mosaic with a skill that is worthy of the occasion. Here, this note here, this, before we get into the verse by verse, here it says, 
He makes us feel or perceive that he has been deeply moved and inspired to recognize the greatness of the crisis. Now, so so what is the the crisis? Like I say, what is the matter? What is the crisis? Well, let's get to verse one right here, 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 Chabarim. So here we have verse one, today's daily song, Mizmor Tzadai Zayin. In the KJV English, it reads, the Lord reigneth, let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of owls be glad. Let the many or the great owls the many owls or the great owls. Now you see thereof, thereof is italicized, which means that there's no corresponding word in the Hebrew, but that was put in by the translator for the English reader. Here, the Evrit in the Hebrew, the Yehudit, Yehovah, Malak, Tagel Ha'aret, Yismichu, Iyim, Rabim, Yahuwah, Yehovah, Malak, point it, Yehovah, Malak, he who be, who he be, Malak. Now remember, Malak, some some of the Israelites, Hebrews, they have some interesting but weird and not really, you know, um, right ideas concerning the vowelization in Hebrew, you know, because Malak means, is a verb, Malak is a verb, and Melek, Melek is the noun, Malak. So here where it says, he who be, who he be, malak, is translated as reigneth, but it's in the sense of has become king, right? It has a sense also of becoming king. So there's a sense of a coronation. He who be, who he be, is coronated. Yahuwah malak, tagel ha'aret, tagel, tagel, she rejoicing, tagel ha'aret. The Aretz, the Aretz, the earth, she rejoices. Yahuwah Malak Tagel Ha'aretz. Yismechu, Yismechu from Samach, Samach, to be happy, to be glad in that sense. Yismechu, let them be happy. Yismechu, Iyim, the ease, the ease. Iyim is the isles or the island. Iyim Rabin. Now, Rab, can mean nuf many here it's in the plural sense rabin the nuffness of the islands like it says multitude of the islands but it can also bring out the sense of the many the many nuff nuff islands as well as the sense of the great rabin islands so here beginning off today's daily psalm the introductory first three verses has to do with ha elohim the true elohim the elohim of elohim Ha Elohim's manifestation as Melech, as Melech. In the opening part of the verse, Yahuwah Malak, he has become king, right? He rules, he has become king, has been coronated, so to speak, right? Reigneth, has become king, as we have in Psalm 93 and 1, right? In Psalm 93 and 1, which is interesting because that's Friday evening, the evening psalm. Psalm 93 and 1. Let's go to Psalm 93 and 1. It says in the English, the Lord reigneth. He is clothed in majesty. The Lord is clothed. He hath girded himself with strength. Yea, the world is established that it cannot be moved. Yahuwah Malak. Geuta Lavesh. Lavesh Yahuwah Oza. Hita Azar. Afa Tikona Tabel. Baltimot, Baltimot, that it cannot be moved. So here we have Yahuwah reigneth. He is clothed in majesty. The better translation is hath become king. As with Psalm 93, theme Elohim HaMelech, Elohim the king, Yahuwah HaMelech, he who be who he be the king, reigneth. Better hath become king. The sense here is that his apparently interrupted reign has been resumed, right? So the connection here, today's daily Psalm 97 and the, the 90 Psalms as well. Let the earth rejoice. Now remember that today's daily Psalm has kind of quotations and, and links from other Psalms. Here, Tagel Ha'aretz, Tagel, let, let her be rejoice, let her rejoice, 
let she rejoice haaretz the earth tagel haaretz this is found in psalm 96 96 11 where it says let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice let the sea roar and the fullness thereof yismechu hashemayim with tagel haaretz tagel the earth rejoicing right the earth rejoicing Yes, yes, yes. So moving forward, the multitude of the isles, Iim Rabim, Iim Rabim, the Iim, the E's, E, Isle, Iim, Islands, Rabim, the multitude of isles, the numerous islands and coastlands. Now, in the context of the East, in that region, the logical point of reference would be to the Mediterranean. We see within the prophetic fulfillment of Rastafari, the North America, and the Caribbean, and the Isles as well. The numerous islands and coastlands, right? We have this in Psalm, in Psalm 72, right? Psalm 72 and 10, round about the 10th verse. That will also benefit. These are the Isles. Also, the islands will also benefit by the establishment of Hilehim's kingdom since its happy consequences will be universal, universal. Many of I and I, Ryan called Chosen Faithful Rastafari, Rastafari order of the Ethiopian Hebrew, see this psalm also from the Hebrew sense of not just reigneth has become king, was coronated and the crisis that develops and the call out to the earth to rejoice as well as to the isles, you know, as related to Rastafari revelation. But let's move on to the second verse. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Anan wa arafel. Se vivavo se bibayo. Edek ua mishpata mekon kiso. Clouds and darkness. Clouds and darkness. Here in the Hebrew, the Anan. Anan clouds. Wa Arafel. The Arafel or the Erafel. The Erafel. That's like a kind of a thick darkness. We find within the Theophanic revelations of Yahweh Loheinu that these elements are present. The clouds and that thick darkness. The Anan. Wa Erafel. Sibibayo. Or modern Hebrew, Sibivav around about sabi around about him so we have here the setting in that hilahim yahweh loheinu reveals himself this is how he reveals himself even here you know in the second book of moshe you know within exodus that revelation of himself we also have psalm here we have psalm 18 Around about the tenth verse for the clouds and darkness, the Anan wa Rafael, righteousness and his throne. See the righteousness and the connection of his throne where it says Sedek, Sedek, righteousness, U and Mishpat, Mishpat, and judgment or justice. But Mishpat also is like judgment, the Shafat. Remember the Shafat to judge, like to weigh. Right, and come to that decision. U mishpat mekon. Mekon is an interesting word, konene. Right, konene, mekonen, mekonen, mekonen. Oh, mekonen. What's interesting here is that when we start to study the Afro Shemitic, you know, link, you know, with the Hebrew, biblical Hebrew, Ethiopic as well, there's a link there that's this word, mekon, right, from konene right means to like establish to make firm like a firm foundation right mekon the mekon kiso kiso of his kis kise kis kis is throne kiso kiso of his throne so righteousness and justice sedek u mishpat righteousness sedek u mishpat and judgment mekon mekon the foundation the establishment Mekon Kiso, Kiso, Kiso of his throne. This we have, this phrase we have from Psalm 89, 
we have Psalm 89 and round about verse 15. Here's a Gimel verse, so the Aleph Beit Gimel Abu Gi, the third verse right here, the Gimel verse. A fire goes before him and burns up his adversaries round about. A fire goes before him. Aish. Aish le fanayo. Telek. 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 A fire she. A fire she goeth before he who be who he be. Aish le fanaf telek or le fanayo. Telek. And burn us up his adversaries round about. U te la hate. U te la hate. U te la hate. Saviv, Sarayo, Sabib, around about Sarayo, Sarav, Sarayo, his adversaries. So a fire goes before him. This phrase as well, we find in the 50th Psalm, round about the third verse, the Aish Lifanayo, fire of his face, she goeth before, or she goeth, the fire before him, right? The word before, right, because at the Hebrew root is like face, perception, presence. Eish lefanayo tele. Ua tilaheta sabiba tsarayo. A fire goes before him. Psalm 50, verse 3. Burn us up his adversaries. We have this in Malachi. Malachi. Malachi chapter 3, verse 19. The sense of ua tilahet. Sabib Sarayo. Now, this is the first three verses right here. Elohim's manifestation as Melech, as king. Right? We say even king of kings. And then we move to the next section, verses four to six, his revelation. His revelation here, picking up with verses four to six. His lightning, verse four, Dalet verse. His lightnings lighteth up the world. The earth soar and tremble. Heiru be rakyo tevel. Be rakyo tevel. His lightnings, his lightnings lighteth. The order of the words is different. The Hebrews like, and they lighting. Heiru, heiru, heiru. Berakio, 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 his lightnings, Tevel, Tevel, the inhabitable portions of the world. Rata, 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 she seeing, Wa Tahel, Wa Tahel, and trembling, Haaret, the direct order of the words. Raita, Raita, and she, she saw, Wa Tachel and Tachel and trembling and like like shaking and spinning, trembling. Ha'aret, Ha'aret, the earth. So here his revelation. So here in this verse, what we have is Psalm, Psalm 77, round about verse 19, that relates to the Yetziat, the Yetziat Mimitzrayi, the Yetziat, the coming out. Me from Mitzrayi, from Egypt, the Mitzers, from the Tawi, from the two lands. We have this right here in this fourth verse. Once again, Heiru Barak Yoa Tevel. Raita wa Tachel Haaret. Verse five, here the Hey verse, the mountains melted like wax at the presence of Yahuwah, at the presence of the Adon. Of the whole earth. Here, here, the fifth verse, the hey verse, Harim, Ka Donag, Na Masu, Milisne Yahua, Milisne Adon, call Haaret, the mountains, the Harim, Harim melted like wax, or the order of the Hebrew words, the mountains, harim, ka donag, like wax, namasu, namasu, they melted, me listenay from the presence, from the face, yahuwah, of he who be who he be, me listenay 
from the presence, from the face, Adon, Adon, Adon Kol Haaretz, the Adon, the sovereign, the master of all the earth, the Adon Kol Haaretz. So here we have in the fifth verse, compare this with Micah, Micah chapter one, verse four, Micah chapter one, verse four, mountains, speaking of mountains, the Harim, Har, like Har Sinai, Har Sinai, Mount Sinai. Here we have the plural, Harim, the Harim. Harim, the mountains represent the most solid part of the universe, the universe. Even they dissolve, even they dissolve in fear or dread of Hilahim, of the Elohim's appearance and his presence and his face and his perception. Here, 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 moving to the Vav or the Huawei, Wow verse, the sixth verse. The heavens declared his righteousness, and all the peoples saw his glory. Higidu Hashemayim Azidko. We Rau Kol Ha'amima Kobodo. The heavens, Hashemayim, they declared. Higidu Hashemayim declared the heavens. Higidu Hashemayim, the heavens, seed go, seed go, his righteousness. We Rau, 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 and Rau, they seeing, we Rau, the Rau, we Rau, and they seeing, call Ha'amim, all the peoples, Kavodo, Kavodo. His glory, his kavod, his modern Hebrew they say kavod, so can be read as kavodo, but in the Afro Shemitic point in kavodo. Once again, Hegido Hashemaim Sidko, where Rau call Ha'amim kavodo. Here we have the heavens and righteousness, also from the 50th Psalm, round about the sixth verse, declare Hegido. So we got what we call the Haggadah, right? The Haggadah and to declare, like the Haggadah. We want to say the Haggadah. What's the Haggadah? Is what is declared even at the Pesach time. But the word itself means to declare, declare, right? To declare, to tell, to declare. In other words, to give testimony, to give testimony to. So in other words, in other words, the heavens give testimony to his righteousness. Higidu. Higidu. Hashemayim Sidko. All the people saw his glory. Where Rau call Ha'amim Kavodo. All the people saw Kavodo, Kavodo. We have Yeshaya, Yeshayahu, Isaiah, chapter 35, verse 2. And also Isaiah, Yeshaya, Isaiah, chapter 40, chapter 40, verse 5. Right here, here, here. So here, this brings us to verses seven to nine, the effect upon the idolaters and Yisrael and Yashara. Right here, 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 picking up with the vain verse, picking up with the seventh, right? The seventh verse Hebraically, where it reads the KJV. We have the KJV here in front of us. It's a little different reading. It says, confounded be all they that serve graven images that boast themselves of idols, worship him, all ye gods. The ye there is italicized, so the more force of it would be worship him, all gods, or all Elohim. Here we have the Hebrew, Yevoshu, Yevoshu, call of day, Pesa, ha mita halalim, ba elilim, ba elilim. Ba Elilim, Hisha Tachu Lau, call Elohim. Here, bringing out the translation from the Sefer Tehillim, it says, "Ashamed, confounded." KJV here, ashamed. Yevoshu, 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 Yevoshu. Ashamed, be abashed. Yevoshu, be all they that serve graven images. Yevoshu, call obey. Obdei, the servants of Pesel, Pesel, call Obdei Pesel. Now, here, 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 the effect 
up on idolaters and Yisrael. So Yeboshu, let them be ashamed, Yeboshu, and the Pesel, and the images. Here we compare Yeshai, Yeshayahu, Isaiah, chapter 45 and 16. They will be filled with shame when they discover how impotent, not important, but impotent their deities are to help and to save them. Such was the experience of the Babylonians when their might was shattered and smattered and flattered, was shattered, and Yisrael Yasharala restored to his homeland, to his homeland. So a shame be all they that serve Pesel, graven images. Yevoshu call Obdei, the servants of Obdei Pesel. Yevoshu call Obdei Pesel. Ha mita halalim, ba elilim, that boast themselves, that boast themselves, ha mita halalim. Now, halalim come from that same root of like hallelujah, like the elililil, like they big up, they, that big up, that big up themselves, that elil themselves. Ha mita halalim, ba elilim, ba in on elilim. Now we have in the Hebrew the Elil. Elil. What is the Elil? Elil is the idols, but from the Hebraic sense, an Elil, you can see there's a, some closeness, but a distinction of sound. The Elim, the Elil, are things of naught, are like good for nothing, worthless, worthless things. And it can be applied to like worthless physicians, worthless shepherds, divination, right? Other gods. This is a Hebraicism for good for nothing. By analogy, something vain, a leal, right? Um, vanity, specifically an idol. The idea is something of no value, a thing of naught that boast themselves, that halal themselves, that illumin themselves. Ha mita halalim, ha mita halalim, the elilters ba elilim. Those who give like a little to the to like idols, you know, to nothingness. They boast themselves. But the sense of the, the word, it's a uh, ahitpael. So it's not that they just boast on another, but they're boasting like themselves, right, in their idols. It's kind of an interesting connection right there. Boast themselves in the belief that their success, prosperity, good fortune, or good luck. You know what I mean? Were caused or will be maintained by the elilim, the elilim that they serve. But they are things of naught, right? That's why it says the Hebrew, he Hebraic says that both themselves in things of naught, while King James Version says that both themselves of idols, bringing out the Hebrew sense of the elilim, right, is things of, of nothingness. They boast themselves in nothingness. And the idea of things of nothingness is also found in Psalm 90, 96, and 5. Bow down, right? What it says right here, it says, bow down. Hish tachewu lawu. Hish tachewu. To shachat is to prostrate. Basically, to prostrate, to bow. Basically, to fall on your face, right? Hish tachewu, fall on your face. Y'all, lawu, lawu, to him. Hishtachewu, lawu, and not to your elim, your good for nothingness, your idolatry, your vanity, but hishtachewu, bow, fall flat, fall flat, right? Lawu, to him, call all Elohim. <laughs> all Elohim. Now, better, some would say the translation could be all gods have been prostrated before him. And the sense of that is brought out in Yeshaya, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 46, right? Chapter 46, verse 1, to compare what is said here with what is said in Yeshaya, Isaiah chapter 46 and 1, that all the Elohim or the Elohim Acherim. In Hebrew, we don't call them false gods, we call them other gods, other people's gods. Elohim Acherim. Right, have been prostrated before him. He has proved himself mighty, whereas their 
helplessness was exposed. The psalmist does not mean that he or even we believe in the existence of the Elohim Acherim, the other people's Elohim, Elohim Acherim, like it says, thou shalt no other gods, no Elohim Acherim, right? No after gods, like gods that people made up after, you know? The true Elohim always was, but then they made up their own Elohim afterwards, Elohim Acherim, other gods or other people's gods. But that he uses some say popular language to assign them. If they do exist, or if you want to believe in the Elohim, to their proper place as would-be suppliants, right? They too, in other words, it's not that y'all have other gods or your gods are really any gods at all, right? But even your gods worship our God is the idea being brought out right here, here, here. Verse eight, Zion, Zion heard and was glad. And the daughters of Yehuda. Rejoice because of thy judgment, O Yahweh, O Jehovah. So here, 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 let's just look at the KJV, because of thy judgment. Yes, yeah, it's much the same read right there. The Hebrew, let's bring out the Hebrew. Psalm, um, um, sham, shama, shama, wa tismach, siyon, shama, 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 she heard. She heard, Shama, 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 she heard, Wa Tismach, and she was glad, Tismach, Tismach, Sion, 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 Zion, Zion, she heard, and she was glad, Shama, Wa Tismach, Sion, Wa Ta Gelna, Wa Ta Gelna. Benot Yehuda, and the daughters, the Benot, Benot, the daughters of Yehuda, of Yehuda, rejoice. Wa Tagelna, Tagelna, they rejoicing. Wa Tagelna, Benot Yehuda, and the daughters of Yehuda rejoice. Lima'an. Misha Pateka Yahweh, because, because of a due to Lima'an, right? Because of Lima'an, Mishpateka, Mishpateka, Mishpateka Yahweh, because of thy Mishpat, thy weighing and judicial decisions, thy judgments, O Yahweh. Now, here in verse 8, right? From this is brought out from Psalm 40, 48 and 12, right about verse 12, Psalm 48 and 12, with the difference that in this verse, Zion, Zion, Zion heard, Zion she heard, Shama, 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 she heard, Zion she heard reports of Ha'el, Ha'el, the Almighty's triumph, wrought against Yisrael, Yasharala's enemies. But in the other passage, right, the other passage from Psalm 48, round about verse 12, Zion, Zion Zia is pictured as witnessing. She is witnessing this. Here, here, to the ninth verse, for thou, for the eye, for thou, Yahuwah, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. Here, 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 the ninth verse. Ki ata Yahuwah elyon. Ki for ata, for the I. Ata is the Hebrew, you say, um, second person, male, you know, singular, you know, pronoun. For you, speaking like I say, you, the I, Ata Ki Ata Yahuwah Elion, for the I, for the I, or he who be who he be, Elion, for you are Elion, and Elion in Hebrew means the highest. You say the Most High, Elion, Ki Ata Yahuwah Elion, all call Haaretz, all call 
Haaretz. All up upon call all Haaretz. Up upon all the earth, the earthly plane. Meod na eleta na eleta. All call Elohim. Thou art exalted, me'od, me'od, very much, 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 in muchness, to say like enoughness and muchness, me'od, na'aleta, na'aleta, na, the I like alia up, alia, alia means to go up, to ascend, Allah, Allah means to ascend, Elion, here we have, here we have, na'aleta, you have ascended, very much, me'od, na'aleta, all, up upon call all Elohim, upon all gods, all of the gods, the other gods. Here, 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 most high in earth. This verse here, the connection is from Psalm, Psalm 83, round about verse 19. Exalted far above all gods, exalted far above Meod, Naaleta. I'll call Elohim. In the perspective of his incomparable greatness, his nothness, the heathen deities, their Elohim Acharim, the other Elohim, are reduced to their true dimension of things of naught. So their so called Elohim are really Elohim. They're not Elohim, really. They call them Elohim. You know, in the Afro Shemitic sense, but really they are El Elim. They are El Elim, El Elim. They are really things of nothingness. And here, 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 just to fulfill this right here, 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 we have verses 10 to 12. So that section there from verses 7 to 9 was the effect upon idolaters, right? As well as Israel, idolaters and Yisrael. You know, upon them, woe, Yebosheth. Upon Yisrael Tagel, you know, Yismach, you know, happiness. Here we have verses 10 to 12, just to seal up today's daily song. According to the royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, we have the order of Malachi Edek. We have verse 10 here. Let's bring out the KJV. Firstly, it says, Ye, to say y'all that love Yahweh, hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Right here, here, here. It's pretty much the same as the Sefer to Helim right here. Let's look at the Evrit. It says, Ohave, Ohave, Yahuwah, Son, Sonu, Sonu Ra'a, Sonu Ra'a. Here, 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 very interesting here. Ohave, Ohave, Ohave. The lovers, to say the lovers of, actually. Ohave, 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 ohave. The lovers of Yahuwah, the lovers of Jehovah, right? Um, sinu, sinu, sinu in this pointing, sinu, hate y'all, right? Ra'a, ra'a, ra'a is evil, unkindness, sadness, lack of beneficialness, hurtfulness. You know, not just a religious sense of evil, evil, but in that's hurtful, bad, right? Not beneficial, right? Ohave Yahuwah, sin u ra'a. Oh, y'all that love, the lovers, to say the lovers, ohave Yahuwah, the lovers of Jehovah, sinu, sinu ra, sinu ra. Hate ra, hate evil and kindness, right? Shomer, Shomer, Naf Shot, Hasidai, Shomer, preserving. Let me say Shomer Shabbat, keeping the Sabbath. But the word Shomer from its root verb, Shamar, it can also mean to hedge about. You know, like you have a like a garden in by gardens and you have certain things and there's a certain type of animals to keep them away, you hedge it about. That's the sense of Shomer as used also in Shomer Shabbat, to, to keep the Sabbath, to guard the Sabbath. But here, he preserveth Shomer Nafshot. Nafshot is the souls. Nefesh is soul. Here we have Nafshot in the plural sense. Shomer Nafshot 
Hasadayo. Hasadayo. Modern Hebrew, they'll say Hasadav. Hasadav. His saints. Now, Hasadayo come from the Hebrew Chesed and, and from the Hasid. What is the Hasid? You heard of the Hasidim? Well, I know Rastafari Hasidim, but you heard of like Yehudi or Jews who are Hasid, the Hasidic, they say. Well, here's the root right here. This is one of the attributes of Yahuwah, and it's also one of the terms that get translated sometimes as holy one or holy ones, as well as saints, as we have right here, 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 where it says, Shomer Nafshot Chasidayo. He preserveth the souls, Chasidayo, of his Hasid one. What is Hasid? Hasid means faithful, kind, godly, goodly one. In the Hebraic translated sense, a holy one. It's like a like the Kiddoshim, you know, but a different sense here because it derives more from that attribute of Hasid, of Yahuwah, pious one. When we get to the root sense properly, it means to be kind, Hasad, right? Hasad, to show kindness, to show kindness, right? In that sense, you know, to bow, to be humble. It also has a sense of to shew merciful. Sometimes in translation, when it says that Yahuwah's attribute, attribute he's chasid, chasado, his loving kindness, chasado, his mercy, right? So those who are the chasid and the chasidim truly are those who are received of his mercy and of his kindness, and they do likewise. Shomer nafshot chasadayo. Miyad Rishaim, Yad Elaine, he delivers them out of the hand, Miyad. Yad is hand, Mi, preposition from, Miyad from the hand, Rishaim. Rishaim is wicked, but also from the root sense, defiant ones. The defiant ones, Miyad Rishaim. They're so defiant, they become wicked, ratchet. Yad Elaine. Yats Elaine, he natsals them, natsal, like snatches them. So actually the true sense of the Hebrew is like he snatches them, right? His Hasidim out of the hand, miyad rishaim, out of the hands of the defiant, ratchet, wicked ones. So right here, the tenth verse right here, hate evil. Hate evil. Sinu ra. Sinu. And sinu, in the sense, there, it's like you all, all of y'all. Sinu ra. Like hate y'all ra. Right? Hate y'all evil, unkindness. You know, the essential characteristic of those who acknowledge the rule of Ha'el, Ha'ilahim. The fear, the reverence of Yahuwah is to hate evil according to Proverbs, the Mashab. Mashlot of Shlomo, the Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13, the fear, the reverence, the respect of Yahuwah, of Jehovah, is to hate Ra'a, to hate the evil, the unkind, the bad, the unbeneficial. Yeah, yes, sir. Here, 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 his saints, the Hasidayo, Hasidav, some say Hasidayo, his saints, they who love Ha'el, Ha'ilahim, and whom he loves in return. We have a connection of this thought, this idea in the fourth Psalm, round about the fourth verse, where we also have a link with the Hasid and the Hasidim. Verse 11, light, illumination, light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Light is sown, like the sower went forth to sow seed. Light is sown. Here, here, eleventh verse. Or zarua, or or light, or zarua, or zarua la sadik for the righteous. La sadik. Now, la sadik is not like the righteous ones, but it's like in a singularity sense, like for the righteous one or for the righteous, not the righteous one, just Sadiq, yes, Sadiq, or Zarua la Sadiq, with the Yisare, Yisare, Slika, Ula Yisare Lei, 
Ula Yishrei Lei, the Yishrei Lei, Yishrei, Yasha, Yasha, from the Yasha root, U and Le of Yishrei, the upright heart, those who have upright heart, the Yishrei Lei, Ua Le Yishrei Lei, Simcha, 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 we say, Sameach, happy, like during the feast time or happy occasion. Sameach, here the connection of simcha, simcha, right? Simcha, gladness. Here, 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 light is sown, light is sown, or zarua, or zarua, light being sown like one where the sower went to sow the seed. But here we have or zarua, la adik for the righteous, of the righteous. It may, for the present, be hidden, like the seed in the earth. Here's the connection of Robeno's teaching, right? And I, it may, for the present, be hidden, like the seed in the earth, but it is sure to spring forth. Let may the righteous, that's Adik, that's Adik, therefore, go on hating or repulsing, repulsing, like the magnet on the reverse side that pushes it away, repulsing, uh, uh, repulsing evil. Last verse right here, here, here. Today, Billy saw me, here, the 12th verse. Be glad. Be glad in Yahweh, in Jehovah, your righteous, and give thanks to his holy, his set-apart name. Simchu, Simchu, Sadikim, by Yahuwah. Simchu, be glad, y'all. Simchu, Simchu, be glad, y'all. Sadikim, righteous ones. Simchu, Sadikim, by Yahuwah. And he who be who he be. We hold do, hold do. Give thanks, y'all. Hold do, hold do. So hold do is like a. Is like a command, like to give thanks. Hodu, we hodu, hodu, give thanks. Give toda, toada, we hodu, le zeker ad show, le zeker ad show, zeker ad show. And here, be glad, righteous. This also verse here in Psalm 32 11. And give thanks. Give thanks. Here's what's interesting here. here. Let me look at the KJV right here. Okay, the KJV brings out a little differently. Rejoice in Yahweh, your righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance. I think here KJV brings it out, you know, much, much, enough, enough more, enough, enough more better right here because of the Zekir. Zekir, Zekir. What is Zekir? Zekir is from the Zakar to remember is a memorial, remembrance, right? It's a sense of memory, like a recollection or like a memento or a commemoration for the remembrance. And in uh, another sense of the Hebrew, it can have a sense of a sense of scent. You know how a scent brings back memory? Because we have the Azkara, which was that Aishan's offering right there. So therefore, that's the connection of this, but the remembrance, right, of his holiness, Adisho. Simchu, Sadikim, by Yahuwah. We hold do, Lizekir, Adisho. And give thanks, y'all. We hold do, we hold do, Lizekir, Adisho. For the Zekir, for the remembrance, the remembrance of his holiness, of his memorial, of his set apartness right here 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 yes i rastafari right here yes i glory to the word sound and power and as the psalm says right here sim khu sim khu tsadiki ba yahua shaba shalom sembet salam sim khu be joyful be glad y'all tsadiki righteous ones by yahua enjoy let the righteous be glad let them rejoice before God. Yes! Yes, Tafari. Yes!
And here, here on the outro raid here, Hashem Melech, Yahuwah Melech, Yahuwah is king, even king of kings. Right here, 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 outro for the Shabbat time. Shabbat Shalom, send that salam. Hashem Yeshua. Mizmor Zadezayin. Adonai Malach Tagel Haaretz. Yismechu Iyim Rabbim. Anan Vaarafel Sebibab. Sedeku Mishpat Mechon Kismo. Esh Lefanav Telech. Utelahet Saviv Tsarav. Eiru Verakav Tebel. Raata Vatstahel Haaretz. Harim Kadonad Namasu Milifne Adonai. Millifne Adon Kol Haaret. Higidu Hashamayim Tzitko, Verau Kol Haamim Kevodo. Yevoshu Kol of the Fessel, Hamit Halelim Ba Elilim. Ishtahavulo Kol Elohim. Shame Avat Ismach Tzion. Vatagelna Benot Yehuda, Lema Amishpatecha Adonai. כי אתה אדוני עליון על כל הארץ, מאוד נעלית על כל אלוהים. אוהבי אדוני סין ורע, שומר נפשות חסידיו, מיד רשעים יצילם. אור זרוע לצדיק, ולישרי לב שמחה, שמחו צדיקים בדוני, והודו לזכר קודשו. Psalm 97. The Lord reigneth, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him, righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him, and burneth up his enemies round about, his lightnings enlightened the world, the earth soar and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth, Thou art exalted part above all gods. Ye that love the Lord, hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous. Give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye.